For more, let's cross to Joshua Osi, Member of Parliament from the Social Democratic Front Party and the standard bearer in la for that party in last October's uh, presidential election. Thank you for speaking to us from the capital, Yaoundé. Thank you for having me. We heard the spokesperson from your party in that report. Uh, I presume, like he, that you welcome the, uh, the this call for dialogue? Well, we've been clamoring for dialogue for the past years, and I think uh, 24 million other Cameroonians have been doing so. Uh, we fundamentally understand that you can't solve a political problem with bullets, nor in the courts. And we've been calling for this political issue to be brought back to the political arena. So Mr. Beer has finally understood that he was on the wrong path of history. And um, he has uh, given it into going for a dialogue. Uh, yeah, we welcome it, but uh, we have to be sure we understand the conditions, the modalities and the outcome of this dialogue. If it's just a smokescreen operation to please the international community, we will not be part of it. But uh, if it's um, effectively a genuine dialogue in which we can touch on some of the constitutional dispositions that bring about all these problems today, and we can go back in time and uh, correct what has been going wrong, uh, we will be part of it. We will leave no stone unturned to make sure that peace comes back to the northwest and the southwest regions of Cameroon. Now, in his speech, President Bia said it was difficult to know who to talk to as people claiming to be separatist leaders use social media platforms to preach uh, violence. Who to invite, who not to invite? Well, um, uh, we're not yet at that stage, and I think that uh, Mr. Bia said it in order to uh, dress up his speech. I think he knows exactly who to talk to and who not to talk to. Uh, it's not about talking to those who make the most noise, but it's about talking to those who are representative of the people of the Northwest and the Southwest for this issue, and those especially who have good ideas and who can come to the table to try to produce something constructive that can help us come out of this um, civil war uh, towards peace. Including armed separatists. Well, um, he has been clear about it. Um, it is not about uh, um, imposing dialogue on one party or the other. It's about putting everybody at the table. If armed separatists can be at the table, that would be a very good thing for peace. Peace talks need uh, people who are at war to agree to put aside that war and to talk to each other. Uh, so I don't see how the war can come to an end if one party to the war is not on it. You have two parties fighting each other, and then you have a lot of stakeholders, uh, who, some, of which are, some of whom are victims, some of whom are uh, part of the institutions in one part or the other of the divide. And I, so I think it's very important that all, that all those who can bring something uh, to make sure that we can come out of this uh, civil war as soon as possible, and especially put in place institutions uh, that will be long-lasting, inclusive, and make sure that this war doesn't restart just a week after the dialogue, all those parties should be welcome to the table. But I'm jo very sure the government knows exactly who has to be around and who not. Josh Walsey, one final question. Uh, your thoughts on uh, this dialogue perhaps taking place while the man who finished runner-up in those presidential elections, Maurice Comteau, is in jail? Well, um, it is such that the, um, the leaders of the secession are in jail too, and um, probably I do hope personally, um, it's not a partisan position, I do hope personally that one of the outcomes of such a dialogue would be the liberation of all political prisoners. Um, we have been clamoring for the liberation of all Anglophones in prison, and I think uh, I am in politics and uh, I would like to believe that... Um, Mr. Bia is keeping the Anglophone prisoners in prison to use them as uh, a bargain possibility in these discussions. Um, that's probably what I hope it is, and I hope it will come um, as a package uh, in those talks, so it can be as one of the outcomes to those talks. But right now, I think Cameroonian people are suffering Cameroonian people are being killed every day. Uh, the, the people back there in the northwest and southwest are going through 
horrible times, and it is an urgency to stop with that. And I think uh, every sound politician would do just what the SDF has been doing to put that as its primary cause uh, the, 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 to stop the violence in the northwest and the southwest. That is the biggest cause we have at hand today, and every other cause should be secondary. Joshua Osi, Member of Parliament and a member of the SDF party, former presidential candidate, thank you for speaking to us from Yaoundé. You're welcome, and um, thank you for having me. In Zimbabwe's capital, the return of the remains of Robert Mugabe.